Hello friends and welcome to the session on H HCF and LCM of the numbers. This is for our CSET preparation for paper 2 and I am Gaurav. My details are given on this slide. You can give me my, your feedback on my email or you can even call me. So today we will understand how to find LCM and HCF of a num of few numbers. right? First and foremost, what is a factor and what is a multiple? I have already covered what is a factor in my video on number system, but again to reiterate, let's understand what is a factor. When is uh, what is a factor of a number? So a number x is said to be factor of a number y if y is divisible by x. Let's understand it by taking an example. So our number is x 50, right? So is 50, if we have 50, is 50 divisible by 1? Yes, when we divide 50 by 1, we'll get 50. Is 50 divisible by 2? Yes, when we divide it by 2, we'll get 25 as an answer. Is 50 divisible by 3? No, because what we get is 16.6667, so it's not divisible by 50. Is 50 divisible by 4? No, it's not. Again, we will get 12.5 an answer. So we say that 1 and 2 are factors of 50, whereas 3 and 4 are not are no 3 and 4 are not factors of 50. So what are other factors of 50? We have 5 as factor, we have 25 as factor, we have 50 as another factor. So these are factors of 50. Now coming to multiples. So x is said to be multiple of y if x is divisible by y. Again, we will take an example. So, is 6 a multiple of 3? Yes, 6 is a multiple of 3 because when 6 is divided by 3, we will get 2 as an answer. Is 20 a multiple of 3? No, 20 is not because when we divide 20 by 3, we will get 666.7 as an answer. So what are the multiple of 3's? So when 3 is multiplied by any whole number, let's say 3 into 4, we will get multiple of 3 or 3 into 500, we will get 1500, again 1500 is multiple of 3. So multiples are generated by multiplying a particular number with any whole number. So this is how we generate multiples. Now let's come to what is an HCF. Right? Even before coming to an the definition of HCF, let's understand few things, right? So if we are given two numbers, let's say 12 and 18, what are the common factors of these? two numbers. We have to find the common factors of these two numbers. What do we mean by common factors? Common factors mean those numbers which divides 12 as well as 18. So let's begin by 1. Does 1 divide 12? Let's see. So 1 divided by 12? 12. Yes, it divides 12. Does 1 divide 18? Let's see. So 18 divided by 1? Yes. So we can say 1 is the factor of 18. So let's write the factor. 1 is one of the factors. So when it is divided by 2, what do we get? We'll get 6. When 18 is divided by 2, what do we get? What do we get? We get 9. So 2 is again the factor of 18. Is 3 the factor of 18? Uh, is 3 also the common factor, let's see. When 3 is divided by 12, we get 4. When 3 is divided by 18, we, we get 6. So 3 is also the common factor. Let's look at 4. Is 4 also the common factor? 4 divides 12 perfectly, but does it divide 18? 
no it doesn't so 4 is not the common factor similarly we will find that 5 is not the common factor let's look at 6 so is 6 the common factor and we'll find it is So 6 is another common factor and similarly we will go on checking till smallest of these two numbers so we will go on checking till 12 and we will find that all these are common factors 1 2 3 and 6 are common factors of 12 and 18 which of them is highest common factor 6 so 6 is called the highest common factor or the greatest common divisor which divides both 12 and 18 perfectly 6 is the HCF of these two numbers. So that's the definition of HCF. Let's understand it by taking another example. So we have to find HCF of three numbers which are 72, 60 and 96. We if the numbers were small and 2 we could have started with 1 and go on till the smallest of these numbers but here the numbers are very big so we have 60 as the smallest of these three numbers so it's not very prudent to start with 1 and go till 60 so there is an easy way out what we do is we represent them in their prime factor form so 72 is written as 12 into 6 which can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 which is 2 cube into 3 square 60 can be written as 2 square into 3 into 5 96 can be written as 2 raised to power 5 into 3 right so these are the prime factor forms of these three numbers now we have to find the highest common factor highest common factors means what a number which would highest number which would divide 60, 72, 60 as well as 96 right so let's take a number which divides 60 so it should have it cannot have more than two twos right any number which divides 60 cannot have more than two twos any number which divides 60 cannot have more than three one three and any number which divides 60 cannot have more than 1 5 what what I may mean is if we have number like 2 raised to power 3 it won't divide 60 right if we have number like 5 square it won't divide 60 but if we have number like 5 it would divide 60 so 5 square won't divide 60 but 5 would divide 60 for sure right so the highest common factor is the least power of primes so the least power of 2 in all in all these three numbers is what here we have 2 raised to power 3 here we have 2 raised to power 2 here we have 2 raised to power 5 so the least power of 2 is 2 raised to power 2 so highest HCF would be HCF would be 2 raised to power 2 into highest uh, the smallest power of 3 in all these numbers is here 3 raised to power 1 is there, here 3 raised to power 1 is there, here 3 square is there. So the small pow least power of 3 available in all these th numbers is 3. So the HCF would be th 2 square into 3 which is equal to 4 into 3, 12. This is how we find HCF of numbers by representing them in their prime forms. Now if we have let's say another number which is 50 right we'll again represent the it, it in the in its prime form which is 2 square sorry 2 into 
5 square. So amongst all these four numbers, the least power of 2 is 1, right? The least power of 3 is, in all, which is common in all these four numbers, is 0, right? Because in 50 we don't have any 3. So it's 0. And the least power of 5, which is common in all these four numbers, is again 0. So 5. And our HCF would come as 2. This is how we find HCF by representing the numbers in their prime factors. I hope that you understand how to find the highest common factor or greatest common divisor. Now let's look at LCM. What is LCM? It is least common multiple. What do we mean by least common multiple? When we say least common multiple, obviously we are talking about two numbers, right? So let's again take an example and understand it before we jump into the definition. Let's take an example. So if we have numbers like 4 and 6, right? These are two numbers, random numbers I have chosen, right? Now we have to find the common multiples. Common multiple means what? So the common multiple should be greater than these two numbers, right? So let's take an, an a number, a number which is greater than these two numbers, which is 7. So is 7 a common multiple of these two? No, it's not. Is what are the multiple? Of, let's make it more easy. What are the multiples of 4? So multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, right? 20, 24, and so on. What are the multiples of 6? They are 6, 12, 18, 24. So in all the multiples of 4 and 6, we have certain common multiples. So 12 is such common multiple. The 24 is another common multiple. And again, we would continue to get common multiples. So which is the least common multiple? It is 12. So that's what we mean by LCM. Right? LCM is nothing fancy, nothing difficult. It's the least common multiple. So if we write the table of two numbers, the least number which is common in both these tables is LCM. Okay, so that's how we, that's what we understand by LCM. Let's take few examples and understand how to find LCM. Right? So we are given these four numbers 36, 48, 64, 72. This is again all the numbers comprises of 2 and 3 is only. So what we do is we represent them in their prime forms. 36 can be written as 2 square into 3 square. 48, 2 raised to power 4 into 3 raised to power 1. 64 can be written as 2 raised to power 6. And 72 is written as 2 raised to power 3 into 3 raised to power 2. That's the, their prime representation. Now how to find the LCM? When we say we have to find the LCM, what do we mean? The number should be divisible by all these four numbers, right? So obviously the number would comprise of these prime factors, which are two, twos and threes only. How many twos would be there? So highest number of 2's we have in all these 4 numbers is 6. So number LCM should contain at least 2 raised to power 6 in it because it has to be divisible by 64. So we have to have 2 raised to power 6 in our LCM. Again the number should be divisible by 3 square as well. So we should have 3 square. So this is the HCF LCM of these four numbers. Let's take, let's assume that we have 
25 as well and we have to find LCM of all these 5 numbers. So Again the LCM should be divisible by 25 as well. So we should have 5 square also in our LCM. So we'll also multiply 5 square with our LCM. So what do I mean? So how do we find an LCM? Firstly we represent all the numbers in their prime factor form. So this is their prime factor form. We take the highest power of each factor. So highest power of 2 in all these 5 numbers is 2 raised to power 6. Highest power of 3 in all these 5 numbers is 3 square. Highest power of 5 is 5 square. And we multiply them to get the LCM. This is how we find LCM. So I hope that now you are well versed with how to find HCF and LCM. I am sure that we do LCM and HCF from very early in our education perhaps from class 5 but most of us do not understand what actually HCF and LCM means. Ha by this video I am sure you are now clear that what do we mean by LCM, what do we mean by HCF and how to find LCM and HCM in a very easy way. In CSAT we are never asked to find LCM or HCF directly but we are asked to f use them as in, in various applications right so there are questions which involve which which needs us to find either LCM or HCF we'll see few of those questions in another video I hope you enjoyed this video and you understand the basic concept behind LCM and HCF if you have any doubts you can email me or you can call me till till our next video I hope that you are preparing well for your IES exam. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you.